everybody, thank you for watching. Today, I'm going to be answering some assumptions that you have about me. So I've seen this video done a couple of times and I figured it would be a fun thing to do because I'm sure, you know, everyone has their assumptions. So I went on Instagram uh, about an hour or so ago and I asked you guys to send me some assumptions. So let's take a look and see. This should be fun. You guys really got some assumptions about me, huh? Oh my gosh. Um, so I'll go through and I'll answer, you know, a couple, not this many. <gasps> oh my God. Down to the bottom. So whenever I do stuff like this, I always like to kind of answer like the first one because, you know, whoever's the first person to get their question in, I feel deserves the answer. It is so hot, by the way. I have a feeling that this is gonna, um, the camera's gonna keep turning off, but let's get started. So the first assumption, you've got a secret boyfriend. So no, I do not have a secret boyfriend. I've been single since November and I for sure needed this time alone to, you know, just like focus on myself. The last time I was actually like single for a long period of time, I was 20 years old, which is so crazy. So, you know, I was in a almost five year relationship and I was single for a couple of months and then I got right back into another relationship that was almost a year. I don't regret any of the relationships that I've had, um, but I feel like right now I need this time for myself and I just like feel like where am I gonna meet someone? So if you guys have any suggestions on where to find some guys to go on dates with, let a girl know. Okay, so the next assumption is that I'm over YouTube and will consider quitting soon. Um, no. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be over YouTube. It's a little discouraging and a little disappointing if I'm gonna be honest. Ever since like Facebook bought out Instagram, like you guys know it's just different now. It's not like you post and people see your stuff. I actually have a meeting with Instagram soon because I feel like my account got um, like shadow banned from YouTube, uh, from Instagram. When I started back like so many years ago when I first started on Instagram, there used to be a thing called the popular page. So everyone in the entire world basically saw the same 15 photos and my account was constantly on the popular page and I feel like that's really what helped me grow so quickly back when it was just starting and then I don't know what had happened but my account got then got blocked from the popular page and it would never get back on there so what I did is that's when I made my fashion page my second Instagram because I knew how beneficial it was that I was getting people from all over the world seeing my page so when I created my second account that account always in turn got on the popular page so I don't know like I feel like since then my account has had like some sort of like block or something on it I don't know it could be a theory but I mean it's pretty obvious now and now that they have like these new algorithms and stuff like that it is frustrating knowing like nobody's seeing my posts as soon as I post it you know how like you see your timeline mine is always instantly deleted and I can never even find it on my own page and I have like my cats page and stuff like that and I noticed that my newest post is always like buried under like a bunch of other posts so that's what really helped me build my career so that alone is frustrating that people aren't seeing my posts and I feel like the same thing kind of happened with YouTube you know it's a little frustrating because I don't know if it's you know people just aren't seeing my content anymore which I'm hearing a a lot of feedback that that's the case which kind of sucks but I will never quit YouTube unless like everyone wants me to quit YouTube and like no one's interested anymore like if I have 10 people that are still interested in me I'll happily still create videos I've always just been about putting content that I personally love out there and you know just to like inspire people and stuff like that so no I don't plan on quitting YouTube but um but yeah, so that's my little spiel. I get very like heated about it. Here's a funny one. I feel like you're a very neat and organized person. I feel like anything out of a place is a no-go. So anyone that knows me will laugh at this, especially my mom. So I have this new thing where I'm like a germaphobe. Like I cannot get into bed without showering every single night. But I am like pretty much a slob like not like a dirty slob I just leave stuff everywhere and I've been like that for so long so when I hired my assistant she literally changed my life she helped me because it's like it got so unorganized for so long that it was like I would look around at everything and I would just be like there's no way I'm ever gonna fix any of this so now I am now that stuff is finally organized like I love stuff being organized and I always put aside days where I like clean up and organize stuff around the house but like it took me a long time to get to that place an assumption about me that I was a bitch in high school 
So, you know what? A lot of people think that I'm a bitch and like, I give everybody the benefit of the doubt. I treat people how I want to be treated. Obviously, if someone messes with my friends, my family, or, you know, is out of line, like, yes, I have bitchiness in me. I can be a big bitch. I'm from New Jersey. My mom's from New York. Like, we just have that in our blood. But I always like to give people the benefit of the doubt. And in high school, that's, like, the furthest thing from the truth. You know, I was friends with so many people. I had so many different groups of friends. And I remember, I think it was, like, freshman or sophomore year, there was... Well, this was middle school and high school two separate times like if there was someone sitting alone at lunch I would be the first person to invite them to sit at my table and there was one kid in high school that sat with us the entire year because I just hated seeing that so I have I guess sometimes like a bitch a resting bitch face so people that don't know me I can understand why you would think that but I promise you I'm literally like a very very nice person and I always treat people how I want to be treated and I think What's really cool and like one of the biggest compliments for me is like when I do meet someone for the first time and they say like, oh my gosh, you're like so nice or you're just as nice as like you come off. Like that to me is like the biggest compliment ever. So I was not a bitch in high school. An assumption is I come from a very well off family. So that's not true. I was very, very blessed growing up. Um, my dad, you know, he started his own company. He never even finished high school. He went into the army. He started his own company from our garage growing up and you now he built it into a huge, very successful business. So there was a short period of time, well, not a short period of time. I would say probably up until high school, we were very comfortable. And then when my parents got divorced, it went completely flip-flopped so we went from you know living a good life to losing everything and you know at this point in my life I, I was just finishing up high school I went to Brookdale for college I was working three jobs and still going to school you know I was helping my mom with bills and stuff like that so I, I feel like why I appreciate everything so much is I grew up very blessed that my dad was such a hard worker um, but then I did lose it all my camera keeps like overheating because it's literally 99 it says it's 99 degrees right now so yeah like I said you know I had a very blessed childhood and then you know I quickly lost everything we lost our house we lost everything I didn't talk to my dad for a very long period of time because he wasn't paying child support and stuff like that but um you know so it taught me a lot at a very young age while all my friends were off going away to college and you know, living their best lives. I was home working three jobs and still going to school. And I would not trade w any of that for the world because it forced me to grow up a lot quicker and it made me appreciate everything so much more. And I learned that hard work is what's gonna bring you places, not everything being handed to you your whole life. So I wouldn't trade anything. I wouldn't switch one thing that has happened to me in my past as much as I've been through because it did form the person that I am today. So that's why I'm so blessed and grateful like every single day for everything I do have assumption about me that I want to be married by now you know when I was younger I, like I thought by 24 I'm married with kids because when you're younger you don't realize like 24 seems old now looking back like thank god I didn't get married when I was that age I think at this point in my life I would rather be single and happy than be in a relationship that I'm unhappy in just to get married and have kids like I know it's in the cards for me but I'm not gonna rush into it or settle because of like a selfish reason like that like when I'm with the right person and I'm sure I hope it happens and if it doesn't I'll fucking have 12 more cats I don't care no I just don't think it's worth settling I know so many people who are married who are so miserable and like I swore to myself that that will never be me so yeah maybe I thought when I was younger that I'd be married by now but I promise you like I'm so happy in where I am right now and if I wasn't I would have no problem telling you guys like this is just me being like straight honest I don't lie I have no reason to lie so yeah my assumption of you was that you're selfish I would have to say that that's like the furthest thing from the truth anyone that really knows me and like I wanted to do a video let me know if you guys think it's a good idea where you know, I have like a couple questions written down and like I interview like the most important people in my life, like my family, my friends, because anyone that really knows me knows like selfish is not even in my vocabulary. Everything I do is for other people. I put everyone before myself, you know, sometimes like too much, you know, but. Where's that coming from? I don't know where that noise just started coming from, but um. It's a quality that I'm proud of. I do things for other people without expecting anything in return. 
and I think that's an amazing way to live. As long as your needs are met, it's just like fulfilling. I feel like I've gotten where I'm at and everything I have to help the people in my life. So that's just like something I've always believed. And I don't know, it's maybe my car's overheating. And I turned my car off and it's still doing it. Should I be concerned? Well, I almost made it through the video, but um, my car started making weird noises. My camera kept overheating, so we're in the living room and we're gonna continue this video on. So. Let's get back to the questions. I don't know where I left off. Through your lows in life, you become a stronger, independent woman. So this is one thing I like preach all the time. So I'm like such a firm believer that like your hard times really shape you and help you become who you are. And there's a lot of things that have happened in my life that, um, you know, I, I haven't shared, but I'm thinking, you know, one day I'll write a book about because it really did shape me and help me become who I am. And I think one thing that people need to realize is that life isn't happening at you and that you're not the victim and as hard as things are, I feel like our souls are all here to learn lessons and I believe that whatever is thrown in our way is for a reason. So if you can remove yourself from the victim role and realize okay, what is the life lesson that I'm supposed to be learning here? I think that is the key, and it's something that I've been practicing for a long time. You know, life is never gonna be easy. There's always gonna be hard things that are going on and hardships that you have to overcome, and if you can look at it from an outlook of, okay, how can I learn from this, and how can I make my life better, or how can I learn from this and help others, or if you look at it in that point of view, I think that is the like true, purpose and meaning of life and it's hard to get there when terrible things happen and are constantly happening all the time but that's just something that I really strongly believe so I wouldn't trade anything I've been through a lot there's always gonna be people that have been through more than me but everything that I personally have went through has changed me for the best and I really wouldn't change anything so but I don't know how to be single um, I do know how to be single girl I've been single and I'm really loving it like I love having my alone time I haven't had this in a very long time and you know I feel like it's one of the questions I keep seeing that I miss my exes or that I like hate being single and I really genuinely love my freedom and you know I just had some friends over the other night and you know they're all in relationships now and they, one thing they kept saying was like enjoy the freedom because once you're in a relationship it's not just about you anymore everything's a compromise and you know, I've spent a lot of my time in a relationship, but I really enjoy just being single and just living my life for me. So I promise you, it's really good. It's a good thing. You are a calm, chill person, but when you go out with your friends, you are the crazy party queen. So I think all my friends can vouch for this. Um, you know, everyone, as much as people complain that I'm too crazy and I make everyone take too many shots, I will say that people also said that I do bring the life to the party. So yes, I am very wild. I am either, again, there's like no in between for me. I'm either at home with my cats, watching TV, like doing nothing, no makeup, or I'm out like having a great crazy time. I love to go out with my friends, especially recently, like, you know, being single, I have this, again, newfound freedom and I live for it. So yes, I do get a little bit crazy sometimes. But I like to have a good time. I love to just like make everybody happy. And I feel like what a lot of people say about me is like when I come in the room, I just like come in like with a lot of energy and like ready to go at all times. But I think it's a good thing. So no, it's good to have like that happy medium. But I'm tired of YouTube and the influencer life and want to do something else. Sorry, I have an itch. <laughs> Definitely not. I'm so blessed and honored from where I'm at in life and I would not choose to do anything else. I think one thing that I've struggled with for a really long time is um, figuring out like why I have my platform or why I was like lucky enough to be in the position that I'm in. And of course, I know I've worked super hard and I never gave up and I just, you know, stayed consistent and that's just something I worked on my complete self. But like, I always felt like I was given my platform for a reason and you know, it's really funny because I feel like what my gift is, is I have a way of making people open up and you know I love figuring out like what's the deep-rooted issue with people and 
that's like one thing with all my friends like I love to just like dig 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 until I figure out like what's bothering them and then I like to give like life advice so I think that's maybe something I would like to do more on my channel like more like inspirational videos like I used to do because I feel like that's what's missing from my life um, like I love makeup and I love all of that but to me there's so much more that's important so I think that's something that I would like to do more of if you guys want like more like you know just like talking videos maybe answering questions about different topics about life and just more inspirational stuff because I feel like I have some good advice and I would like to share it more when I started almost eight years ago it was so different than it is now and I feel like so many young people are looking at people that are online and they see like this perfect world and they think that that's reality and you know, I can't help but think that I had a little bit of, of a part in creating that and I know for a fact like what's important in life and unfortunately people are always chasing things that maybe they'll never ever get to get so they're always going to be like unsatisfied in life and if there's one thing that I can tell you guys is I went from having nothing to getting not everything but like being in a comfortable spot where I can pretty much get whatever I want materialistically like obviously and we're not talking like a private jet and like 12 cars I promise you like none of that will make you happy so like if there's one piece of advice I always want to give people is like take it from me none of that really matters and unless you're like truly happy with who you are and where you're at in life like I promise you none of those materialistic things are gonna give you what you want and fulfill like that void that you think that you have I think just never giving up on learning more and asking questions and questioning everything like why we're here and what is our purpose and what is our gift like everybody has their own gift it's about figuring out what that is and following that path because you know a lot of people are just stuck in their everyday life and they're miserable and they think they have no way of changing the outcome and no way of changing their future but I just want to let you guys know that could not be further from the truth everybody has the same amount of hours in the day it's what you do with them and if you can't you know get that little head start or you can't like get your mind in that right place I highly recommend reading books maybe taking some seminars um, YouTube now like with the internet it's so much easier so you know just do a little bit of research and open up your mind and you'd be surprised at what you can find and it's honestly been a life-changing thing for me and I highly recommend it for you guys too An assumption that I spend more than I save so that is absolutely not true I can understand why people would think that but I save way more than I spend and I have always been planning for my future so I think that's a super important thing I think people you know they get some money and they want to spend it and do all these lavish things but if you're not preparing for your future and saving for your future it's all gonna go away just as quickly as you got it so just a little piece of advice plan for your future meet with a financial planner um, invest or you know find different ways of how you can save for your future because it's so important I keep seeing a lot of people saying like that I want more cats like I'm good I'm good with five guys and I'm single so I'm a fake whore who is money hungry I mean if that's what you think about me like bye <laughs> assumption that I got a nose job so this is something that I've seen forever um, again on my entire family's life my mom's life I did not get a nose job I also don't think there's anything wrong with anyone getting plastic surgery or doing or fixing something that they never liked love you Carly but I assume you don't leave your house without makeup on so I literally always leave my house without makeup on um, you know I love wearing sunglasses most of the time as well but I really don't wear makeup that much I just kind of always have makeup on on YouTube obviously so I promise I am like 90% of the time not wearing makeup <laughs> Freaking Stacy, I love you. <laughs> that you can drink anyone under the table. Yes, girl, you know it. That's so funny. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, so I do I do like to drink. I may be small, but I can most of the time really handle it. Through heartbreak, you remain a hopeless romantic. This is very true. I have always been a hopeless romantic. I always will be. I love love, and I believe everyone has the right person out there for them. I just haven't met mine yet, which is completely fine. So uh, I will always be a hopeless romantic. I think love is what makes the world go round. It's the only thing in this world that actually truly matters and everything radiates love and we just need to open ourselves up to it more. 
All right guys, so I think that's it for now. I answered a bunch. So I hope maybe you got to know some things that you didn't know about me before. I also wanted to do a video like 10 things you don't know about me. Maybe some things that were not asked in here. But let me know if you guys want to see that as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. And one thing you guys need to realize is you should never judge a book by its cover. And always treat people how you want to be treated. And watch how your blessings will increase. And that's something I've always believed in. And I believe that's what helped me get to where I am today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Yes, look at Bowie sitting here the whole time, my little baby. And look at my little kitties on my phone case. It's still available, my limited edition phone cases. If you want to get them now, I'll put the link below.